finding the principal in compound interest so let us see few problems based on how to find out the principal type questions so in the question you have to find out the p value by the given data okay let us see one example here what sum of money will amount to 3630 in 2 years at 10% per annum compound interest so here is amount to 3630 that means amount is given so the given data if you can able to write perfectly then probably is easy okay amount is 3630 in 2 years so n is equals to 2 years and r is equals to 10 percent per annum compounded annually it is okay so we have to find out at what sum the question is what sum of money so that much amount in two years in with the rate of 10 percent per annum will become 3630 as amount okay so formula will be same that is uh, a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n okay so in this formula only we will substitute the values which is given directly amount is given 3630 that is equals to p we have to find out we as it is in the bracket 1 plus r by 100 r is 10 10 by 100 to the power 2 okay now we can simplify so this is 0 10 1s are 10 10s are cancel right so p into now this is 1 plus 1 by 10 is 11 by 10 11 by 10 whole square that is same 3630 now we can calculate this so using this let me do this side same so 3630 is equals to p into 11 by 10 whole square so 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 when you want to find out the value of the p 3630 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 take other side reciprocal so 10 divided by 11 10 by 11 okay now we can cancel 11 table we can cancel this right 11 3 is 33 3 carry 3 is 0 again 11 times 1 11 times 30 is so finally p is equal to 30 into 10 into 10 30 into 10 is 300 into 10 is 3000 Calculation is simple, just the same formula will apply and we'll do. Let us see one more question, same concept, you'll get more clear idea. Okay, so this is the problem here. What on what sum of money will compound interest for two years at 5% per annum amount to 164? So 164 since already we know compound interest is equal to on what sum of money will compound interest for 2 years at 5% per annum amount to 164 so compound interest you have to calculate now ok p value but compound interest you can take compound interest is given here so not given amount the annual amount to 164 so on what sum of money will compound interest for 2 years at 5% per annum amount to 164 okay this we can take now compound interest is equals to formula you know right already that is p into in the bracket 1 plus r by 100 to the power n minus 1 okay this is the formula for compound interest directly okay should not get confused there is a 164 is a compound interest so 164 is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 r is 5 by 100 to the power n 2 years minus 1 okay, this is all, what you need to calculate so important thing is the given value is amount to 164 okay, so the statement we should read clearly here so compound interest becomes this much for what amount ok now next you can find out the p value from this so same 164 is equals to p into in the bracket you simplify 5 ones are 5 20 is 100 1 plus 1 by 20 so 21 by 20 into again 21 by 20 because power 2 this is one set minus 1 now calculate p into 
21 into 21 is 441 by 20 into 20 is 400 minus 1. Mm, do LCM here. Let us simplify. P in the bracket. 441 minus 400. Divided by 400 it is. LCM is 400. So P into 441 minus 400 is 41 by 400. That is 164. Now using this, P is equals to 164, 41 by 400 take other side, 400 by 41. Now 41 times 1, 41 times 4 is Yes, 41 to 4 is 164, 4 into 400 is 1600, 1600 is the principal. On, so we can calculate like this. So p value is 1600. So question only I will repeat again clearly. On what sum of money okay, will compound interest for this much data is this. That means compound interest is given. So we have to find out the p value in this. So p is equal to 1600. So question is important. We have to understand clearly and just uh, substitute the same data in the formula. Similarly, we will see few more sums to find out the rate percent as well as number of years also.